Hey, it was Adam Fotex, but now I want to hear back as a month 15, and I'm bringing back the Cheap Elite Gym Series. Like, you guys have been in my mentions, been in my comment section saying, hey, Texas, bring this back. I need to know what players I should pick up. And I, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I've been neglecting this. I know you guys liked it that much. So let's get right back into the series. Like, I'm so excited. You guys should be, too. Up first today, we got one of the coolest nicknames in football run DMC halfback, Darren McFadden, going for around 9,000 coins. And trust me, his price will get cheaper than that when people start pulling more packs. Look at this guy right now. He's 10,000 coins. And look at this guy's card. 6'2", 95 speed. That's pretty much all you guys need in this game. Like, Denard Robinson in this game is a glitch. If you guys got the 80s of Denard Robinson, he is so fun to play with, and he was so cheap at one point, going for around 2,000 coins. And, like, Derek Fadden, even though he doesn't have the agility or the awareness or the acceleration or the carry or the ball carry, it's like, he doesn't have all the green stuff Robinson does. 95 speed speaks for itself. Pretty much this guy can be your back coming out the back with a catch pass because he has pretty good catching as well. Like he has that 77 catch, which is not terrible, along with the fact he has 95 speed and he's six foot two. That is an amazing combination right there. He's taller than most receivers in this game. So if you guys need a pretty fast wide receiver, those streaks up to McFadden might be your guy. Plus, if you guys run a lot of triple option, read option plays, but McFadden and a fast quarterback would be an amazing combination. So when his price gets around 5,000 coins, 4,000 coins, pick him up because that'd be a good steal. Moving along to defense right now, we got Patrick Peterson, 80 overall cornerback for the Arizona Cardinals. And even though he's 30,000 coins a bit on the pricey side, this is a cornerback that can play both one, two, or the third cornerback slot for your team. And 30K is not that much in the grand scheme of things, especially for a shutdown cornerback. Like some guys are out here spending hundreds of thousands of coins on Sherman on uh on dick lane and those guys are great but patrick peterson is a fraction of the cost and he's just as good like six foot one he has 95 speed 95 acceleration he has an 80 catch like this is a pretty damn good cornerback to play with 90 for jumping as well and he is cheap 30k is really cheap considering this guy's going for about 200 000 coins in the game first release so guys looking for a nice shutdown fast cornerback patrick peterson might be your guy but for those that don't have the 30,000 coins, Jonathan Banks is a solid pickup. I mean, he's going for 6,000 coins. I just found out that final editions are still in packs for, from last week. So that means final editions are going to be in packs for a long time. And those being in packs all the time means these cards are getting much cheaper. And Banks being six foot two, you can't teach that. Him being 93 speed, you can't teach that. And he has really good zone coverage as well. So this is going to be a pretty fun card to play with. This guy is currently on my roster right now. He's pretty solid. He has good catching as well. He's very tall. Not the greatest athlete out there on the field, but he is a pretty nice card. And going for around 6,000 coins, that fits perfectly with some guy's budget squad. So if you guys are looking for a nice, tall, shutdown cornerback that is uh, cheaper than Patrick Peterson, pick up Jonathan Banks. Featuring another final edition, we got this Keenan Robinson, 80 overall linebacker. Now, he is not a linebacker. You guys went out in coverage, right? He is 6'3", very, very tall, good height, 87 speed, good right there as well. Zone coverage is awful, but he has good block shed, good pursuit, good tackle, and he has some pretty good blitzing attributes. He can't catch. Look at that. 52 catches. So let's let you know right away. This guy is not a linebacker you want to have out there in coverage. 90 jumping. You bat balls down. But catching them is going to be an issue. But if you guys have an attacking 3-4 scheme, this might be the guy you want to pick up because he seems to be really good rushing the passer. Anything besides that, he is going to get you beat. But for around 6,000 coins and his price trading down, that's a fair pickup for a linebacker who is that tall. Plus, in this game, as I keep saying over and over and over again, catching and all this stuff's overrated. If you can use this guy as a linebacker and make it work for you, Getting how you fit in, but this guy going for around 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 coins is going to be a solid pick for guys who do not have many coins to spend and looking for a nice middle linebacker to play with. And last but most definitely not least, we got this Jason Hatcher, and I've been on this kick recently. I am pretty much in love with defensive ends that are six foot six or taller. Like, they are so much, like, they're making the game so much easier to play. I had Calais Campbell and Julius Peppers on the same side of the ball. And trust me, there was no balls being thrown to that side. Screen plays were getting swatted down. Like, it was just easy mode, especially when I was on my Muttmaster grind. Those two guys just dominated crazily. So, 
Jason Hatch is one of those guys as well who is six foot six. He doesn't have crazy speed. He's kind of an interior lineman. If you guys do run a 3-4, play this guy defensive tackle, he'll play amazing for you. But him being 6'6", 95 finesse with 90 block shed, he is an athletic mismatch for centers and guards. He gets a quarterback pretty easily. If you guys don't believe me, pick him up for 11,500 coins. His price is cheaper than that. I have seen him go for around 7,000, 8,000 coins. So his price will continue to plummet as well. But here he is right now compared to Peppers. And like Peppers is faster, obviously. But, like, that's not a bad comparison whatsoever. So, if you guys need a nice interior defensive tackle presence, Jason Hatcher is your guy. Jason Hatcher is the guy you want to go ahead and pick up because he is a D tackle. And Peppers is more of a finesse defensive end. So, that will wrap up this episode. And that was episode number six of the Cheap Elite Series. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you guys hit that thumbs up button, I'll crank more of these bad boys out. I think I might say the like goes on these videos. If you guys hit 500 likes on this video, I'll do another one in about two days. So you guys get these things rolling in. Could you guys enjoy these a lot? I also have a new idea for a series I want to start up. I want to do, right, do overalls matter because there are some cars in this game that don't make a lick of sense and i think that if i make this video like click what does with his madden myth busters i might be able to debunk some of these myths and you guys might like really like look into these cards before you buy them because one of the cars in this game two of one of the cars actually one of the cards ha is a 98 overall if you guys can guess in the comment section i'd be kind of clean but he's a 90 overall but he has attributes worse than his 93 counterpart that doesn't make any bleeping sense. So I think I might do that to you guys as well. So I will go ahead and end the video right here. And I'll probably drop that video sometime soon. The Taxi Boy, 500 likes. And you get part seven of the Cheap Elite series. And I'm out. This is about the bleeper. Peace.